Okay, in Acts chapter 8, in Acts chapter 8, we read that Christ is preached to an Ethiopian. Okay, so uh, let's just read the story. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise, go towards the south along the road which goes from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went, and behold, a, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under the queen was there and he was returning and sitting in his chariot and he was reading from Isaiah the prophet then the spirit said to Philip go near and overtake the chariot so Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said do you understand what you are reading and he said how can I how can I unless someone guides me and he asked Philip to come up and sit with him and the and this was a place in the scripture where it was saying, this was from Isaiah 53. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter and as a lamb before his shearer is silent. And he opened not his mouth. In his, humili in his humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who will declare, and who will declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth? So the eunuch answered Philip, and said, I ask you, of whom does a prophet say this, of himself or another man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the scriptures, preaching Jesus to him. Now as they went down from the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, see, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Okay, so Christ was preached to the, to the eunuch. And he, he believed. Listen to what it says. He, he says, there's water. What stops me from being baptized? And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. If you believe with all your heart, you may be baptized. And he said, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stop. And both Philip and the eunuch went down the water and he baptized him. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away. This, I never, I never uh, caught this before. The Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away <laughs> so that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. All the times that I've read this, this is the first time that I caught them, caught this. So Philip baptized the eunuch, and then the Spirit of the Lord took out Philip away. That is so awesome. And Philip was found at Aztas, and passing through, he preached to all the cities till he came to uh, Caesarea. I've never caught that before. I'm telling you, when you read the Word of God, you will discover new things. You will see things that you didn't see before. So Philip baptized the eunuch, and then Philip was taken away. Like, like uh, that's happened to a few people, like Enoch in the Old, Old Testament. But Philip was taken away, and then he was somewhere else. That is just so cool. But the whole point of the story is the purpose of baptism. The purpose of baptism is to declare that you are saved. It's to, once a person, first you get saved, and then you get baptized. First you get saved and then you get baptized. The whole point of baptism is to declare to the world what has taken place in your heart. You don't baptize babies, you dedicate babies. And just because if a person is saved and you got baptized, just because you get involved in some type of sin, you don't get baptized again. This is what I'm hearing from pastors. That, oh, you know, if you were, if you got involved in sin, you can get baptized again. That's not the way it works. You get saved and you get baptized. Even me, I was thinking about getting baptized again. That's nonsense. I was, I was baptized in the Jordan River. Granted, uh, it was around a lot of people I don't know, but I was biblically baptized. The question is, have you been biblically baptized? First of all, are you saved? If you're saved, have you been biblically baptized? Have a great day and God bless.